Okay, Akumodo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. Here we have our weekly chart. Another week has just closed and this is what we have. We have a hammer. We are in between the standard moving average, the 200 standing, standing moving average and the 200 exponential moving average. And the volume here has been decreasing since this wave here which I called wave 3 okay and this is what I see right we see last we last year 2018 was this huge movement we, we finished the, the the 2017 with a increasing volume like so yeah and then we had this this kind of a huge attempt huge buyers here right and uh, the 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 volume has been decreasing since has been decreasing had been decreasing since 2017 throughout the 2018 and then we had this movement in november december last year right that was decisive every analyst out there was calling that a huge movement would happen eventually because we we, we were decreasing in volume and this is happening again Okay, of course, uh, this is a self-similar pattern that is not so crucial, so significant. So the, the, the size of the movement is going to be smaller. So what I expect is something like, like this. Uh, a, a triangle that, that the angle is going to be... Is going to be... It's gonna be a, a higher angle than this one here than this one this one is i don't know uh 45 this one is uh 60 this one is gonna be 75 degrees okay we're gonna have a smaller triangle or a smaller uh a smaller movement and as um uh, it's gonna last for it's gonna last for a, a little bit less than this movement the, it's gonna last a little bit less than this previous movement here and this one here so this pattern is pretty telling in my opinion because this is um which this tells us this entails that a big movement is about to happen but of course this might take another month another two months uh, another month another week we don't know yet okay but what i can tell you guys is that we have this pattern of this felt falling edge and i i don't see another movement going down not yet but of course if we go just down like so if we go and try to get to the 80 70 here what we would like what we would see is a an increasing volume like this and then I would see some uh, sideways movement and then an decreasing volume and probably a slope uh, uh, a, a, a less significant angle here okay that's what I see that that's what I can tell you guys okay this is based on the volume and the price action analysis okay Elliot wave wise I think that we have another wave going up actually we have another leg going down right before we go up this is the one hour chart with stamp and this is what I see okay we failed to get to this 50% okay this 50% from the top of the where is it from this top of wave 2 to the wave 3 here this is an ABC. We failed to get to the 50%, but it's for almost nothing. So I see Algos trying to get to this minus 3360, minus 38, 20%. This would be this this has already started. Okay, this would be wave one, two. It's about to actually wave two is we would have another leg going up. This is two probably touching here okay a b c and then it would go down okay so um 
yes something like this okay then we would go down like minus 38 20 percent and if we get to the this is the third wave of this wave going down if we project the third wave which is here the beginning and this is the third project to project through the wave four which has get to this 50 percent where do we get we get to this minus 38 20 percent 100 percent of the length of the wave three which is not really uh, uh which is not impossible actually which is a nice confluence because we have plenty of targets here plenty of plenty of argo targets here trying to get to this minus 38 20 percent minus 618 here from this from this um algo target here okay but this algo target we got here right we got this algo target here minus 33 six percent so it's done okay but we might see another leg down which i am counting on now and then before we go to this wave c the fourth wave which was which would be this wave here okay this uh, around 400 or four around 4000 okay 4200 something like that okay it's pretty difficult now to argue that i don't see this going down without any sort of a of a attempt to go up okay this is in the bear's best interest it's in our best interest because if we go up if we go and try to get new highs here at least a new high uh, relative to this wave a here that would um, that would uh, tell that the market is trying to do a bull run and the people would start buying just to get just to get uh just to get uh wiped out okay by the market then the market would go down again okay the market is always trying to kid us always trying to make fun of us uh, not really but uh, the market is always trying to 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 hide itself okay that's what i think we're gonna try to do this c here wave that would imp that would uh, make people think that this is some kind of bull bullish run or that the 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 bottom is here and then we would have another bottom here 80 80 70. that's the 2k the 2000 region or even below it okay so uh that's why i'm i think that the the, the correction is far from over we are 415 days in this correction and i think that we might uh, be in this correction for another year okay perhaps by the end of the year uh december who knows right if we are following this pattern of november december some high some huge movement occurs this was november right november december so we would expect november december here okay so we would need to kind of have some kind of uh, uh big movements relative to this to this period of stasis here in order to get to december and then have perhaps the bottom and who knows right but for the for for the short term this is what i think we're gonna have another small pump and then we would try to get to this those algo targets here okay minus so see this pattern of 50 percent we always got to this 50 percent and then dump got to this 50 percent dump 50 percent dump 50 percent what we expect here is another one another leg down and then one leg up okay guys so keep in mind that we are still in the we have this this cross, bearish cross here this bearish cross here on the weekly chart we are about to touch the 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 macd here but I, I i i expect a touch like this one here guys a touch that is not really significant like this one that happened when we this 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 touch here happened uh for the for half of 2018 right this movement here okay so don't expect it to be a cross here in the bullish momentum 
uh, notice here in the histogram of the MACD how it behavior okay it, I expect something like this here okay so I don't expect a huge movement right now perhaps one week perhaps we just finish the week like with a spinning top like this another week goes by and we don't see a huge movement and then we see a movement to the upside okay but if again if we break below the 200 standard moving average then it's another story a, a whole no, another story because that this is a huge huge support for us and that would imply another kind of a, that would imply that we are really going down perhaps to k and then we would recover okay so guys i think that's it for for the moment uh if you like my content please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and join us in our crypto trader locational institute is our discord group is totally free and follow me on twitter the twitter handle is here akumalo crypto okay thank you very much and i see you guys next one bye bye cheers